So today we're going to talk about washes and uh, not necessarily in the using of them but in the making of them. So I've mixed up a couple of washes here. Um, this was one that uh, I, I had to make because there isn't really a bright yellow uh, from the Games Workshop line. Uh, the Citadel line is what I usually use uh, and I've got you know some of every color. I think it's only eight colors. Uh, but there's no bright yellow wash, so uh, I decided to make some, and uh, this video is going to be about uh, what I did, at least, for making my own washes. So I've, I've got some little eyedropper bottles here that I ordered off of eBay. Uh, they're just, I think, was it like a one ounce uh, eyedropper bottle. There's several different brands. You can find one for uh, your needs, if you like. Um, but the base here that I used is a Liquitex matte medium. I did um, one part this to one part distilled water and made a whole bunch of essentially um, mix, like uh, I guess just a, a base for all of the colors. Um, and then once you've made this, uh, this wash base, uh, one part this to one part uh, distilled water, you can add six parts of that mix to one part paint or pigment. Um, I also made uh, a another is a bright color here, bright green wash. Uh, the, what I'm really thinking about doing with these is the glow for um, for Cricks. Uh, and I've labeled them with the folk art uh, color names that I use for the, uh, the pigment here. So. Um, the uh, the other ones that I've made here, I made a, a really light aqua blue that'll be good for doing uh, some, you know, glow for Signar um, lightning weapons. I did a sort of a medium gray uh, that'd be good for certain types of armor, especially very light armor, uh, possibly even some protectorate stuff, depending on how it's used. And I also made a few different reds. That's because the the bale red was good, but um, you know I like to have I like using red. I'm a big Kador fan, uh, but what I don't like is all of it being exactly the same red tone. I use a lot of washes, so uh, I figured I'd make up some. So I, alizarin crimson is a standard color from folk art. Um, maroon is also a standard color here, so very red, a little more purpley with the maroon. And then alizarin burgundy. I uh, I did um, essentially the alizarin crimson with um, just a touch of um, green to it, so they would darken it up some. Which, by the way, um, I'm gonna make another reference to this video from Les uh, in another video I'm going to be probably shooting tonight. Uh, but I was watching some of his videos recently on his personal channel, not necessarily on the, uh, I don't think it was the, the main awesome paint job uh, channel. And uh, he, uh, actually no, it was not him. Uh, I can't remember where it was, I think it might have been on Beasts of War. But uh, they were talking about, uh, yeah, that's what it was. It was, uh, it was Romain from Beast of War was talking about um, the basic color wheel concepts. And I feel like an idiot for not knowing this already, but uh, to darken up a color instead of just adding black, which makes it blacker, not darker, um, add its complement, which, you know, I, I I had to try it, you know. I saw him do it with yellow, adding purple, and it just made darker yellow. It made a, a brownish yellow. Uh, and that made sense in my head, but then thinking blue, we add orange. Um, and that that blew my mind. I did not think that was going to work. It, it is completely counterintuitive for me, but it works, guys. Um, use your color wheels. Uh, it, it, will, it will save you a lot of time and effort. Uh, in finding other colors, you won't have to buy as many uh, off-the-shelf colors, and you can mix up uh, much more accurate to, to what you're what you're wanting. So, uh, yeah, that one tip and the the formula for these just you know one part medium to one part uh, distilled water, and you can buy distilled water in big like 
gallon jugs at the grocery store for about a dollar. Um, and then six parts of that mix to one part uh, color. So really simple. You can make a whole bunch of different ones. Um, I know they look kind of opaque, uh, unlike the Citadel colors, which seem to be a lot more... Uh, well, that one's just so dark. This is the uh, Azerman Blue. But uh, they tend to be a little more translucent, while these look very milky. Um, it's because the uh, the matte medium is actually sort of uh, whitish, but it clears it it dries clear, so there's it's you know it's fine. It does it does what you're you're wanting it to, um, and it functions almost identically to the Games Workshop uh, washes. So um, before I bore you guys all to death here, uh, I'll go ahead and sign off. But uh, try it out. See if you like it. If you if you use it or if you use a different mix to make your own washes, let me know. I'd love to, to try some other ones, do some compare or contrast. If you've done other ones and you haven't done this one, try it out. See see how it uh, see how it works for you. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks.